Hi, thank you for giving me this drink. You are pretty cute. <laughs> Did he just pose that? Are you kidding me? What? Dude, he's so rude. Bro, is this like the new version of Christmas caroling? My God. So something you need to understand is that if I am like in a grocery store walking down the street or something and I see you and I think you're cute, like, I'm not gonna like smile and then like look away. I'm gonna like glare at you and that's not intentional. It's me like trying to show you I like you. And even if you were to come up and talk to me after that, like I would be really rude. But then once you leave, get so excited. But that's just my way of like interacting, so. So for everybody that ever wants to approach this girl, you have to follow her on TikTok and watch that TikTok before you talk to her. That's what she's trying to say. Do you, do you consider yourself hot? Why not? I don't know. I consider myself mid. Mid? Mid at best. Humbling. An attitude like that, ironically, makes her more attractive. The masculine loud, I'm a boss, babe. I'm a 10. Is making them less attractive. But this kind of attitude, it's all right, bro. This is the excruciating surgery that short guys are getting to grow taller. Moses from Minnesota saved up $170,000 working as a software engineer and driving Uber in order to pay for a surgeon to break both of his legs and place a metal rod in between the two halves. This rod was then slowly and painfully lengthened up to one millimeter each day, gradually extending until it reached its desired length and his bones could heal back together. In fact, this surgery is so long and extensive that patients literally have to learn how to walk again. However, after his two surgeries, which took him from five foot five to five foot 10, he said that he now has no problem talking to women and he even has a girlfriend. So the question is, do you think this is worth it? He pays $170,000 to go through this super painful surgery to gain five inches to his height, going from five, five to five, 10. Hmm. I'm gonna leave my thoughts to myself on this one. What do you guys think? Is this simping? Is this necessary in today's dating market? Or is this guy just a complete idiot? Leave a comment below. You guys dress up and go out to seek validation from men. No, I honestly, if I have my tits out, like I'm feeling myself. Like I don't want that for no men. Like if I'm, I, I like myself, like I'm, you know what I mean? Like. Yeah, yeah, I right, cap. I uh, what about you? I dress for myself, but yeah. if men like it, then that's just an extra bonus. So you dress up, you buy, you go to work to buy things just to, come out and like it for yourself? I dress because I feel good and then if guys like it then that's just extra. Do you feel good in your pyjamas? 100% I do. Yeah. Why don't you wear your pyjamas out then? Because, let's be honest. What is so wrong with just saying, yeah, I dress up, I look beautiful to get attention from men? What's so wrong with that? Men do plenty of things to attract women, but women can't admit that they do it also. This is how men and women have been operating for the entirety of humanity up until some decades ago. And all of this is totally fine. Women should try and make themselves as attractive as possible to men. And men should try and make themselves as attractive to women as possible. This is the natural order of things, but womanism only disrupts this natural order of things. For those guys who like to split the bills with their girlfriends, I'm sorry, What's wrong with you? Restaurant menus were designed to be paid by men. That's why it's called menu, not woman you. Just think about it. When she like you, but just as a friend. <laughs> There's no way you're getting in there, dude. <laughs> no way. But um, I am stepping back from doing... Uh, so so what, what shifted? What changed? Um, over the past few months, I've gotten, I've become really unhappy uh, and regretting certain decisions that I've made. Yeah. Like regretting just like making that kind of content or like just? Um, there's like, there's so many different factors. The first one is my parents. My parents, it took a while for them to be proud of me. They're proud of me now that I'm 24 and I'm financially stable. Yeah. Um, but they, they, I don't think they like what I do. Just adding another one to the list, bro. Another one. Another one of these models regretting what they did. But the thing is, bro, the damage is already done. You can't undo it. All of the content that they made is online forever. You have all the success now, but you sold your soul to an extent to get it. We have all these models regretting it. But we'll still have more girls signing up and more girls ruining their futures. And the cycle continues.
Real Masculine Man will allow you to step into your soft feminine energy. Instead of being lazy and asking me what I want to do, where I want to go, just make the decision and take control. That's what women actually sometimes want and need. It's up to the man to provide the frame under which the woman will operate in. So men need to build that frame and make that frame as appealing to the opposite gender as possible. And the women need to pick a frame of which they want to operate within. What is the ideal height in a guy? 6'3". 6'3"? No way. Single one, you, you know one of the guys I hooked up with. You know multiple guys of the... Of but 6'3"? Yeah. Ain't no way. How tall are you? 4'11". <laughs> That's almost double, yo. That's crazy. It's genuinely hard to tell to see if she's joking or not. It kind of makes sense if you think about it. 4'11 girl wants to get the 6'3 guy because the height has to balance out somehow, right? If a really short girl gets with a tall dude, then the children's height would be right in the middle, like the perfect height. It has to balance out somehow, bro. All fun and games until you get to an age where your toxicity has left you really lonely. Yeah, that's deep. <laughs> that was deep. Yeah. Well, all your friends are married. They're all with kids because they weren't toxic. And on the weekends, they take their kids to parks and stuff like that. And you're sat there and you are thinking, where did my toxicity get me? Subscribe to the channel to help fight toxicity. On the way to 1 million subs. You need help? Oh, yes, please. Anytime. A little work for it. Little work, little work. work for it. Work for it. I don't think I'm a workaholic. I think what happens is, is that you start to build positive momentum at something. And it starts to become your identity. Let's say your identity is a very hard worker, an entrepreneur, and a guy that gets out there and gets after it. After you start getting a little positive feedback about that, it starts to become very, very fun. And you just want to build on top of it because it's this positive thing in your life. And people might call you a workaholic or come to you and tell you, oh, well, don't you think you want to take a break? I'm like, no, bitch, I'm winning, bro. Don't let phrases and words that the world use to comatose their inaction and make them feel better about them in action because those are for fucking losers that wishes they they were living the life that you're living one day if you just work hard shout out to justin waller that's his clip the loser spiral versus the winner spiral the loser spiral is when you pile on all of these detrimental things that turn you into a loser not going to the gym eating unhealthy getting on the p hub you guys know all this stuff when you do that all you know is the loser spiral. All you know is being the loser. But and then we have the opposite of that, the winner spiral. And it's exactly the opposite. The winner spiral is when you start piling on all these exclusively positive things. You start going to the gym, you start eating healthy, you start getting your money up, start focusing on your purpose and not anything else. And you work on that enough to the point where all you know is winning. When you tell your toxic girlfriend you wanna break up, get him out of here, dude. You gotta get him out of here. Get him out of here.